Today we're going to be working to solve word problems in varied contexts using a letter to represent the unknown. Take a second to make sure that you have what you need for this lesson. A pencil, a pen, and maybe even a marker if you're using that. Alright, let's get started. So, let's start by naming this shape. All right, that's an easy one. It is a triangle. Let's try another one. Okay, okay, that's another easy one. This is a square. How about this shape? Some of you may have gotten this. This is what we call a pentagon because it has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try another one. This shape has six sides, so we call it a hexagon. Ready for a challenge? Try this on for size. Hmm, this looks awfully familiar. You may have seen this shape whenever you look at a stop sign. It has eight sides. Now, something I know that has eight tentacles is an octopus. That gives us a clue. This is an octagon because it has eight sides. All right, time for some good old multiplication. Five times three equals what? Let's skip count by threes to find the answer. Now, it says I'll raise a finger for each three, but you're just going to have to imagine me doing that. Ready? Let's count together. Three, Six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Five times three is fifteen. Now if I have three times three, let's skip count by threes again. Three, six, nine. Three times three equals nine. Now that you're warmed up, it's time for our multiply by sheet. When you do these, make sure you start at the first one and go from left to write across the page instead of up and down. Pause the video now. Your teacher will give you two minutes to get as far as you can on your multiply by sheets. Then you'll take a little bit and your teacher will read out the correct answers for the first four rows for you to check. And you'll check the rest on your own using what you've done. All right, good luck. Go ahead and pause the video now and press play when you're done with these multiply by sheets. All right, so now that you're done with your multiply by sheets, let's keep going with our lesson. Through our lesson today, you're going to need your problem set. So your teacher is going to go ahead and pass these out. Once they, you have them all passed out, then we'll be ready to start. So go ahead and pause the video until these are passed out. All right, let's get going. Let's look at this first problem. Lena's family buys two adult tickets and two child tickets for the hayride. How much does it cost Lena's family to go on the hayride? All right. I want you to take 15 seconds and visualize the action. That means I actually want you to picture what's happening here in your head. Once you've done that, tell your partner the scene it describes. Tell your partner what do you see in your head when you picture this. Go ahead and pause the video until you've done this. Okay, when I picture this in my head, I'm picturing Lena's family, and they're walking up to the counter, and they're looking at this sign I see here, and they're buying two tickets for adults and then two tickets for kids. That's, that's what I picture happening here. So I want you to reread the question to yourself now. And use your own words to tell your partner what it's asking. Okay, so one thing I noticed it's asking is it's asking about um, two adult tickets and two child tickets. And I'm, I'm probably going to need to know what the total of all of this is. All right, so notice the information provided to help you answer the question. What do you see? 
and think about the read, draw, write process. What questions should we ask ourselves next? So now that we know what to do, we should be thinking, how, what can I draw? What kind of diagram should I do to make this? I could do uh, a tape diagram. I might do a number line. I might do a number bond. There are all kinds of different ones I can use for this. So I want you to reread the problem one more time and think about your answer to that question. Show your thinking on your whiteboard or on your desk. Okay, so as you label your drawing, use a letter to represent the unknown. So this is where I want you to draw out this problem in some way, some kind of diagram, some kind of number bond, something that's going to help you solve this. Okay, and when you do that, make sure you use a letter to represent the answer we're trying to get. Okay, all right, go ahead and pause the video until you've got, until we're pretty much ready, and then go ahead and press play. All right, here are some ways you could have done this. So this student chose to use a number bond. So we have two uh, fours there for the two child tickets and two sevens for the two adult tickets and the C there is representing the total. Uh, this student chose to do a tape diagram uh, and they chose so that we see two boxes of seven to represent the adult tickets, two boxes of four to represent the child tickets, and N was the letter they chose to represent the whole. Uh, this student chose to do make some pictures, so two big old happy faces for the adults, two small happy faces for the children, and they chose to use the letter P for the sum. And then this student uh, chose a different diagram using dots to represent the problem. So I want you to tell your partner, show them your drawing, and tell them how it represents the problem. Make sure to discuss your labels, that is, what letter you use to represent the whole. If you didn't use a letter, go ahead and er erase what you need to and use a letter to represent the unknown real quick. Pause the video now, and once you've had your discussions, go ahead and press play. Okay, it's time to move on. So I want you to look back at your drawing and think about what equations you can write based on your drawing to model the problem and solve. So some of you may have skipped ahead and done this in your head while you were doing your drawing, and that's fine, but guess what? You still gotta write your equations. So I want you to share your thinking with a partner. What equation are you going to actually write down to solve this problem now that you've done your drawing? Go ahead and pause the video, and once our discussions are done, press play. All right, let's wrap up those discussions, and let's get started. So now that you've done this, I want you to, on your own, choose a strategy and solve the problem. Go ahead and press play when you guys are done. Now, let's think, what is the final step of the read, draw, write process? You may be thinking, hey, I've got my number, I'm done, right? Wrong. Okay, you need to reread the question and write a sentence. You've got to put this in sentence form. So you've got to reread the question and be sure that your sentence accurately answers the question. Okay. When you're done, I want you to look back at your work and try to remember your thinking at each step of the way. And then you're gonna explain your steps to your partner. So you're gonna start by saying, maybe I thought about it, I thought about the question this way, and then I decided to draw out this diagram, and then I decided to write this equation, and then this is the sentence that I use to explain my answer. Go ahead and pause the video and do that now. I know it's a lot of talking, but you guys can do it. All right, now that our discussions are done, it's time for your problem set. Go ahead and take the amount of time you need to get as, and do your personal best. I know you guys are gonna do awesome, so get to work.